It highlights the Pentagon and the Nina native who designed it. Angela Kelly is live in Nina with more. Good morning, Angela. Hi, Rachel. Well, that Nina man, that Nina native, is George Edwin Bergstrom. About 70 years ago, the War Department came to him and said, please help us design and construct the Pentagon. Can you imagine what an enormous job that was? This is David Dexter. He is with the Nina Historical Society. Good morning, David. Morning. So this exhibit kind of tells the story of how the Pentagon came together under George Edwin. What are we looking at here? What does this tell us? Well, this is telling you some of the challenges that were faced by Bergstrom in designing the building. Because while the United States wasn't at war yet, war was coming and there was a, there was a shortage of crucial materials such as steel. So he was under the instructions to design and build a five million square foot building with a minimal use of steel. So he opted for reinforced concrete and they say that the building saved enough steel to build a battleship. And we'd like to think that the battleship that they built was the USS Wisconsin, which was constructed during the 1940s. Um, in order to get the materials, they actually dredged a lagoon next to the Potomac River to get sand and gravel that they first used to build up the site because it was a swampy area. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a very good building site to start with. And then they also used that same sand and gravel in order to make the concrete for the walls. Another concern in Congress was that what are you going to do with such a huge building after the war? And the uh, President Roosevelt came back with an answer. He said, we can use this building to house archives. And because record storage requires a much heavier duty floor than a normal office. They built the floors extra extra thick so that they uh, mm -hmm. would load, have 150 pounds per square inch or per square foot load. Okay, now here is where a, a really kind of chilling point comes in. You remember David saying there was a shortage of steel so they had to use a lot of concrete, okay? Now take a look. This is the image of when that plane hit uh, 10 years ago on Sunday, hit the Pentagon. Tell us how George Edwin's construction may have helped save lives that day. Well, first of all, you know, concrete is a lot more resistant to fire than steel is. And uh, because of the extra heavy duty floors that they put in for the, with the idea that the building would be an archive, there were actually people on the floor right above the, the airplane where the airplane impacted that walked away without having a scratch. Uh, it's because of that heavy duty concrete construction in the building. So I think that uh, while it was a difficulty at the time, it ended up saving a lot of lives on September 11, 2001. That I, seriously, that gives me goosebumps. Yeah. It really does. It's an absolutely incredible story. And there's so much more to see in this exhibit um, that talks about George Edwin and his role in building the Pentagon. So you can come here at the Hiram Smith Octagon House in Nina through October 2nd and see this. And it opens Sunday, September 11th.